this video will go over the details of the account lockout feature. The general concept is that this will prevent anyone or anything, bots, pets, small children, large children, from attempting too many username password combinations with a file hosted on FileMaker Server 17 or above. If we go to the help section with FileMaker and we type in account lockout, we see that this falls under the new features in FileMaker Pro 17 Advanced. When we click on that, we have to scroll down and there is this one phrase under enhanced security. After trying unsuccessfully to sign into a hosted file several times within a few minutes, you are not permitted to try again for several minutes. I copied that phrase here just for further review and it appears that there are a few more questions that I have. So I split up the same text into these six areas that seem just a little bit vague. For example, the first one after trying unsuccessfully do you know what unsuccessfully means? On the left, we have the same username as well as the same incorrect password of one attempted 10 times. On the right, we have the same username, but we have 10 different incorrect passwords. Both of these deliver unsuccessful attempts several times. Which one will trigger this account lockout feature? or will both? Let's find out. I have a file called Fort Knox on our FileMaker server 17, and let's attempt to get into that with a password of one. There is one time, did not work. Let's try it again with the same one. That's two, that's three, four, there's five and it stopped giving the message. So if we put the same password in again, there's six, there's seven, eight, nine, 10. We get the same screen each time. Well, let's try entering 10 different passwords. We just did one, so we'll do two. There's the same one, so we'll do three, four, five, six. And now we have a different message. Provided account name is temporarily locked and cannot be used to access this file. Try again in five minutes. So in this instance, it had to be unique incorrect passwords. All of the ones that had the exact same incorrect password only counted as one entry of the five. So I've modified the text to be a little bit more accurate. We know that the second line needs to be FileMaker Server 17 or above because it was found in the new features of FileMaker Server 17. The several times we now know is actually five times. The next line though says within a few minutes. We did all of that within one minute. So how many minutes will it take? Do you know? We'll do a trial where we enter five incorrect passwords at those specific times, which would all be within five minutes. And then at five minutes and 30 seconds, we'll enter the correct password and see if we're locked out or not. And we'll speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. I'm going to use the online stopwatch you can find at this address here. And we will use this timer schedule with our passwords. So we're going to use these incorrect passwords and then we'll use the correct password at this time. And we are locked out. So five minutes is the limit. So that answers line four and line five says you're not permitted to try again, but it doesn't mean it's illegal or that you're going to be visited or you're in violation of some international treaty. What it really means is you'll see the same message even if you're entering the correct credentials 
on any computer because it's server and it knows the account name. That leaves us with the last line. This says we're locked out for several minutes, but do you know how many minutes that is? And is it from the first incorrect password or the fifth incorrect password? This time we'll run our test where we enter in six incorrect passwords quickly, all within 25 seconds. And then when we enter the correct password, starting at the five minute mark, we should be able to see how many minutes are considered several. And we are ready. And we have a winner. So now we know that several means five minutes. But we were simply attempting correct passwords after it got locked. But what happens if we continue entering incorrect passwords after the fifth one? Does the timer start from the fifth password or from the five plus password? Looking at this chart, if it begins at password incorrect number five, we should be able to log in with the correct password or start incorrect passwords again at the six minute time mark. But perhaps the timer continues to reset if we continue entering incorrect password. That means if we enter a ninth incorrect password at the two minute mark, we wouldn't be able to start again until the seven minute mark. So this will actually answer two questions in one test. What happens to the password count when the timer ends? Does it go to zero, being completely reset, or does it decrease by one? With these testing charts, we should be locked out at minute one, and if the incorrect password count goes to zero, then at 6.05, we should be able to start entering five more incorrect passwords. If the timer continues to get reset every time we enter incorrect passwords, then if we're starting at 5.05, we should not be able to enter in new incorrect passwords at 6.05. Regardless of how many incorrect passwords are made after the fifth one, incorrect password count goes to zero at the five minute mark. For one last verification, we can do this test, which has the fifth password that's incorrect outside of the five minute window with each incorrect password being entered a minute and 20 seconds from the previous one. If our timing was correct, we should be outside of that five minute window. Normally, this should have been locked, but it's not, which means this incorrect password can be tested every minute and 20 seconds without locking out the account. Now that you know, should you be concerned? If we do the math for 62 possible characters and we do a six character password, that's going to give us quite a few combinations, which looks like maybe we should use the data viewer. And you can see that would be quite a few years. That is a long time before they could get through all combinations. And that's just with six and that's without the special characters. If we add in just five special characters, the number of years goes up. And if you make your password count eight instead of six, now we're looking at quite a few years just trying every 80 seconds to get into your account. A few additional details then, spreading out each attempt by one minute and 20 seconds will not activate the account lockout feature. This is a built-in feature with FileMaker Server 17. There's nothing to configure or enable, and this has nothing to do with external authentication accounts. This is strictly with server accounts. Be sure to check out our other videos on the Productive Computing YouTube channel, or go to our website at ProductiveComputing.com to see our other services and visit the training section at Productive Computing University for other training on how you can save time and money as a developer.